Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. In today's video we are going to dive into one of the most powerful and versatile function in Excel, the IF formula. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced Excel user, understanding and mastering the IF formula can greatly enhance your data analysis and decision making capabilities. In this video I will explain very helpful applications of if function that include using if function for a single condition, condition based text, discount on the sale, nesting the if conditions to calculate the grades. So let's get started. First of all it is very important to have the basic information about the if function. The Excel if function returns a value for true and other results for the false. The Excel if function allows to test multiple conditions by nesting the if function. This function can also be combined with AND, OR and NOT functions. If we look into the syntax of this function, we see that it states is equal if bracket start logical test comma value if true comma value if false it means that there are basically three component of a simple if formula syntax that would include logical test value if true and value value if false what it means logical test is basically the conditions that are given by the user to be tested either they are true or false whereas value if true means that the returned value if the logical test is true and value if false means the returned value if the logical test is false. So let's apply this function with a single condition first to easily understand what the if function can do for us. For example, we have temperature 70, 65 and different temperatures and we want to categorize them either high or low and the condition that we set is that if the temperature is more than 80 then it should state as high and if it is less than 80 then it should be stated as as low so the syntax of this formula will be is equal if bracket start c5 that is actually the path of the first temperature number and then we write it as c5 greater than 80 then high in inverted commas comma and then low in inverted commas and bracket close so if we apply this formula we can see that the temperature ranges are distinguished between high and low now we will look at how we can use this function for the condition based on text so if we have different conditions like we have performances excellent good excellent good and we want to get them coded with one or two or any other code we can apply this formula the syntax this time will be is equal to if bracket start c6 that is the path of the first performance and then then comma one comma two bracket close and here one thing notice is that the performance or the text which we want to categorize must be written in inverted commas and then you press just simply enter and you get your results another application of the if function is that we can use it for the calculation of the discount on the sale for example we have different sale amount and we want to calculate the discount but the condition for the discount is that that the shopping must be more than 15,000 for this purpose the syntax will be is equal to if b5 that is the path of the first sale amount that should be greater than or equal to 15,000 then comma B5 into 0.1 that is the 10% discount we are given and then comma inverted commas no discount and bracket is closed so you can see that we have found the that on 10,000 there is no discount 12,000 there is no discount but for 15,000 there is a discount of 1500 and similar is done for the rest of the values. Another application of the if function is that we can check whether something is done or not. For example, we have different status done in progress, done in progress and we want to categorize them either yes or no. 
For this purpose, the syntax will be is equal to if bracket start c5 that is the path of the first uh, status and then we write comma inverted commas yes comma inverted commas no and bracket is close and when you press enter you see that the if wherever there is a done written done it's mean equal is yes and when there is a status in progress the result is no can also apply this if formula for the calculation of different grades for example we have different students and their scores and based on their scores we have the grading criteria and on the basis of this grading criteria we want to give these students different grades so these grades can be calculated using this if formula the syntax will be if bracket start d6 the path of the numbers for the first student greater than or equal to 90 comma in inverted commas a comma if bracket start d6 greater than is equal to 85 then a negative and so on you can see that this time we are not applying this formula for a single condition but there are different conditions multiple conditions which are being applied at the same time when we are doing this it's mean we are nesting different type of condition and nesting them to get the result this b grade is actually the result of various condition that we have given it so at the end the thing you have to remember is that the brackets are closed at the end the numbers of condition is equal to the number of parentheses that you have to close at the end i want to just introduce you about very special thing that is the troubleshooting because when you, whenever you start learning this f function you will find it very hard to apply because a single mistake can make your results wrong so whenever you have to write the syntax of this formula you have to be very careful about writing it if you even skip a comma or inverted comma or a bracket your results will be different so you have to be very very careful while writing the syntax of the formula if your results are not correct just simply check the syntax of this formula either it is correct or you have done any mistakes we can also use this f function with different and or and not function and this is the application of if with and criteria for example we have students marks for maths and stat and we want to give admission to those students who score more than 80 in both math and stat for this condition the syntax will be if bracket start and bracket c5 the path of the marks of the first student in maths then comma d5 greater than 80 the path of the marks of the first student in stat then close bracket is close comma inverted commas yes comma inverted comma no and then bracket is close so you get no for the first student because the first student get more than 80 percent marks in maths but not in stat but the second student you can see that 85 and 90 both are greater than 80 so it is yes so your response is generated based on the conditions that you have set using the and criteria now how we can use this if function with the or criteria I have given the same example the marks of the students in maths and stats and we want to separate the students on the condition that either they get 80 more than 80 marks in maths or stat if only they get more than 80 marks in one of the subject the response will be yes so here we apply this or criteria the syntax this time will be if bracket start or bracket start c6 more than 80 c6 is actually the marks or in maths for the first student then d6 the marks of the first student in stats greater than 80 then bracket close comma in inverted commas yes and then again comma in inverted commas no and bracket is 
close and you just simply press this enter and get your results for the first student that is yes and then drag it down for the rest of the students and you can see that the first student in this time get this response as yes because he got more than 80 marks in maths and for the second again it is yes because he get more than 80 marks in both of the subject but no for the third student because the third student is not getting more than 80 marks in either maths or stat this is the example of if with not function again i am quoting the same example and this time we want that if the value is not equal to a certain value then it returns yes and the criteria that we have set is the 80 the syntax will be if bracket start not bracket start c6 marks of the student in the first maths greater than 80 bracket close then no in inverted commas and then comma inverted commas yes and bracket is close and you just simply press enter and get your results and then drag it down for the rest of the students to calculate the response for the other students congratulations you have reached the end of our comprehensive guide to the e formula in excel we have covered the fundamentals advanced techniques and troubleshooting tips to help you become proficient in using the powerful function. The if formula opens up a world of possibilities for data analysis, decision making and automation in Excel. So go ahead and experience with it and unlock the full potential of your spreadsheet. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more Excel tutorials. Thank you for watching and until next time, happy Exceling.